Mm-hmm. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. And as always, I am your host, Fearless Floyd, and welcome to the show. Uh, you can always check me out at thefearlessfloydshow.com. I need to foo-foo that up down there uh, so it matches my logo as I increase everything. Telegram, the Fearless Floyd Show, Fearless Floyd Show at Yahoo. Dot com, BitChute, Rumble, and YouTube, where you're probably watching this. Thank you for uh, clicking and watching this video. Today is Wednesday, uh, September 21st, 2022. And uh, I am going to talk about something that I've talked about before, but now you're going to see the dots connecting. <laughs> and when you see these dots connect, you're going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> Real. They're here. <laughs> I know. Okay. So <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because I'm laughing at myself, obviously, because if I'm laughing at you, I'm laughing at myself. All right. Uh, <laughs> if you like me, you like my videos, you like my topics, you like my subjects, you like my background, you like my shirt, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos, hit that notification bell so you know when I put out really crazy ding dong. I can't even say it. <laughs> so I'll take the video down. Videos. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those kind of videos. I have to be careful about what I say. So, some things I can, some things I can't. But anyway, uh, this is something I studied on my own, so we're going to dive right into it. Mm. Yeah, I know. I just did some eye circles on you. Uh, I want to share. Let me. Uh, Got so much stuff open on both of these. Oh, geez. I can't find it. I'll take that. Okay, kids, let me uh, get back where I'm supposed to be. There we go. Share screen. And for those of you who don't know me, I want to introduce you to my website, thefearlessfloydshow.com. Basically, that's what it looks like. There's a little intro video from YouTube, some of the topics we cover, links, upcoming events we got going on. And this is not finished. Still working on it. It's a work in progress, clearly. But they have these tabs over here, these little bars. Just click on that, give you a drop down menu. You can go meet a bunch of other brilliant people in this uh, movement, whatever that looks like. Upcoming events, template of docs. I haven't put anything in there. I do have some apparel, do have license plates. All the videos on Animal Floor will be in here. You know, once I get time, I'll archive all these videos. I just haven't had time. And of course, here's our classroom. And this shows you all our classes that are coming up. We have classes uh, every Saturday on Trust and Trust Law. This is the And the Floor series. This is going up, kids. After Friday, it's going to be $199, and that's going to be uh, $59. 
All right, we have remittance discharges. These are every Saturday from noon to one, which would be uh, right before this class, and they're 10 bucks a pop. Let's teach you everything you need to know about uh, how to use the uh, remittance and coupons and vouchers process to uh, take care of your bills, utility bills. Classes on certifications, exemplifications, and authentications. He's 10 bucks a pop. And basically, this is, you know, for this is for like, you know, very green people who really don't know anything, uh, how to obtain certified copies, what certified copies are, exemplified copies, and authenticated instruments. So, you know, for those that don't really know how to do your birth certificate, want to know how to do it or how to acquire it, that's a good class for you. And this is a uh, pastor of the ways, one of his classes. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I need to, you know, need to update to keep it updated anyway. So that's basically what the website looks like. Y'all can go in there and peruse that. Spend a minute, buy some merch, do something. I don't know. All right. So uh, basically this video uh, is one of my favorite little hmm, pet, pet topics. And it, and look, man, I'm, nothing personal. But this does go over most of y'all's heads, and I get that. <laughs> I get it because I never thought I'd be reading, uh, you know, white papers and, uh, you know, medical papers and scientific. Yeah, I never thought I'd be doing that at my age. But, you know, hey, look, there you are doing it all, all on your own volition. Good boy, Floyd. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't know if I want to go there yet. So let me get me with that lined up. Um, got to break y'all in. Okay, here we go. I can't. I can't just like drop you in the grease. I gotta. I gotta like you know. Let you look at it, get more because when you get dropped in a grease, you're gonna get fried. Trust me, I'll fry your brain right here. All right. Now, all I did was type in DCQNET. That's DC, like District of Columbia, DC, QNET, like Q is in quantum, net as in network, as in District of Columbia, quantum network. Hmm. What did Fearless just tell us? <laughs> That's it. in the District of Columbia and beyond, because this is only what they have announced publicly. Okay. So, what they announced publicly, you already know they're at least probably, you know, no less than 10 years, most likely 20 to 50 ahead of the game. So, anyway, that's what this is. There are multiple articles on here. Y'all can Google all this if you want. Uh, I already did a video on this. And my video, because I want to um, cover all bases, some stuff. All right, you go into uh, my videos right here, this video right here. Quantum computing, mind, body, and DNA control technology. Let me open it up so you can see the little thumbnail a little bit better. All right. And I'm sure y'all can read this. And you see, this is just 40 seconds, right? You know why? It's too hot. It's too hot to trot now, baby. It is. It's too hot to trot. Uh, <laughs> you see, I'm tiptoeing lightly. Um, well, anyway, you want to go watch that video? This isn't coming in right now. There we go. That one. 
and I did some other ones on it. This is a follow-up right here. And this is China's quantum Neuralink satellite. So, whoops, probably not sharing, am I? Nope. Let me get to the share screen. There we go. This one right here, which is like two above this one. And y'all can't see that one. Look at that one. Brad it now. But that's China's quantum neural link satellite. Okay, so that's their version kind of what this is. But anyway, watch these two. This is available on Rumble and BitChute. This one actually made it through, uh, you know, those people. Uh, all right. Now, let me get things lined up for you. Okay, let me get back over here to this DCQ net where we were at. All right, this is the Intelligence Community News, Navy.mil. So, you know, I can read the one from the Navy. I think I've already read it. NRL announces the Washington Metropolitan Quantum Network Research Consortium, DCQ net. And this is recently, recently happened, June 27th, 2022. This is from Paul Cage, U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, Corporate Communications. And this is the uh, Naval Research Laboratory. That's what that NLR stands for. To advance quantum network capabilities and leadership, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, NRL, announced work with five other U.S. government agencies on May 18th to establish the Washington Metropolitan Quantum Network Research Consortium, DCQNET, to create, demonstrate, and operate a quantum network as a regional test bed. Now, they say regional test bed. So you think, okay, yeah, it's just, you know, a little small area of DC. Oh, no, kids. This go this all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. Yes, sir. If I remember correctly, the closest ocean to DC is the Atlantic. Uh -huh. Wow. That's Half a world away, kids, when you get out your little globe and spin it around, see what we're talking about here. So anyway, quantum networks, an emergency research frontier, will one day offer the ability to distribute and share quantum information securely among quantum computers, clusters of quantum sensors, and related devices at regional and national distances. They can also be used to distribute ultra-precise time signals and offer the potential to enable the creation of new applications not yet imagined, made public. These agencies with world-class research capabilities will work to advance quantum network capabilities and leadership. Gerald Borsuk, PhD, DCQNet Executive Director said, quantum networks will be essential to modern secure communications and computing enhancements in the 21st century. The six agencies are the United States Army Combat Capabilities Development Command, Army Research Laboratory, the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, the U.S. Naval Observatory, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the National Security Agency, Central Security Services Directorate of Research, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. There are currently two out-of-region affiliates to this consortium. U.S. Naval Information Warfare Center, Pacific, U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. The exploration of quantum entangled particles, including photons, to transmit information in the form of qubits, the basic unit information of information in quantum technologies, is at the heart of quantum networks. Quantum entanglement is a unique quantum mechanical property of atomic and subatomic particles. Let me back up and reread that. Quantum entanglement is a unique quantum mechanical property of PICO and FEMTO particles. Let me repeat that. Quantum entanglement is a unique quantum mechanical property of atomic PICO and subatomic FEMTO particles where classical physics failed to describe observed phenomena accurately. It describes the relationship between particles whereby the quantum state of each particle cannot be described independently of the state of the others, 
even though they are physically separated from each other. DC QNET researchers are also studying other quantum behaviors and capabilities such as transduction or the process of converting qubits from one form to another. To fully harness these capabilities for quantum networking will require state-of-the-art measurement, science, or metrology. The DC QNET testbed will perform entanglement distribution of qubits at multi-kilometer distances over well-characterized and controlled quantum networks. Efforts include development of high fidelity quantum memory nodes, single photon devices, network metrology, qubit platforms, transduction and frequency conversion, synchronization, and continued research development into enabling science and technology. Number two, developing the network infrastructure to connect the six metropolitan agencies. Number three, research and development into transfer of quantum entanglement between nodes. Number four, emulation, modeling, and simulation of the network. Number five, research and development into the classical management and control, routing, monitoring, and metrology, and associated software of the quantum network. The DCQNet governance comprises an executive director and executive steering committee, along with principals, investi principal investigators from among the agencies taking the lead on various technical goals among the programmatic goals, programmatic goals of the consortium are one, a trusted quantum network testbed for the US government and the US Department of Defense. Number two, contributions to network synchronization by official US government timekeepers. Number three, a focus on the metrology required to operate a quantum network. About the US Naval Research Laboratory. NRL is a scientific and engineering command dedicated to research that drives innovative advances for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps, Marine Corps from the seafloor to space and in the information domain. NRL is located in Washington, D.C., made major field sites in Stennis Space Center, Mississippi, Key West, Florida, Monterey, California, and employs approximately 3,000 civilian scientists, engineers, and support personnel. There you go. That's DCQNet. Okay. And it gets better. Um, let's see if this one. Yes. Uh, okay, they both say about the same thing. All right. So you notice I threw around a couple words in there, huh? I don't know how you could miss it. Because when they were talking about... Uh, Atomic. Right. Nanotechnology, also shortened to nanotech, is the use of matter on an atomic or molecular and supramolecular scale for industrial purposes. The earliest widespread description of nanotechnology referred to the particular technological goal of precisely manipulating atoms and molecules for the fabrication of macroscale products, also now referred to as molecular nanotechnology. A more generalized description of nanotechnology was subsequently established by the National Nanotechnology Initiative, which defined nanotechnology as a manipulation of matter with at least one dimension sized from one to 100 nanometers. This definition reflects the fact that Quantum mechanical effects are important at this quantum realm scale. And so the definition shifted from a particular technological goal to a research category, inclusive of all types of research and technologies that deal with the special properties of matter, which occur below the given size threshold. Okay, oh, I started really getting out there. All right, 
So basically, I just wanted y'all to see that. Now, let me uh, get back to some of my favorite terms that you will, that it will just, just like nanotechnology is in your vocabulary now. Uh, these will be in your vocabulary. Absolutely. Pico technology. This is from Wikipedia, as you see up here. The term pico technology is a portmanteau of picometer or and technology and intended to parallel the term nanotechnology. It is a hypothetical future level technological manipulation of matter on the scale of trillions of a meter or pico scale. This is three orders of magnitude smaller than a nanometer and thus most nanotechnology and two orders of magnitude smaller than most chemistry transformations and measurements. Pico technology would involve the manipulation of matter at an atomic level. A further hypothetical development, femto technology would involve working with matter at the subatomic level. And, you know, if you like, if you like, and I, uh, you know, I just have to stop sharing the screen every time just to make sure that this it has not, it has failed me before. Uh, oh, sorry, that was nanotechnology. See, that's uh, I want to turn on femto technology. All right, I hope you can see femto technology. Femto technology is a hypothetical term used in reference to structuring of matter on the scale of a femtometer, which is 10 to the 15th power. This smaller scale in comparison with nanotechnology and picotechnology, which refer to 10 to the 9th power and then 10 to the 12th power, respectively. And of course, you see down here is this theory, because that's all this is, is a theory of something that's supposed to work in that fashion, on that scale. And uh, it's all futuristic, just like I showed you, correct? Well, it's not futuristic. It has been here for quite a while. Uh, and I've, as I've shown you guys, uh, Donald Wilsh has multiple patents on FEMPO technology from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. I can you know, go watch those other videos. They're in there. So let me get down to the, uh, let's see. To the shits and giggles of what we're looking for here, what this whole video is about. Uh, there. Hopefully, this will go smooth. Usually, it doesn't. Digital rights error. Okay. Well, get down there. All right. You can't watch the trailer, which is crazy. But this is a struggling young woman becomes a test subject for experimental medical AI implant. When it takes control of her body, she fights to survive. Okay, this one they put in her spine, man, back here. It's a little... The thing will kind of look like that. So if you get a chance, go watch this. It's pretty interesting. Um, so that won't work. So that kind of sucks. All right, kids, here we go. It's gonna get down to the nitty gritty. What this video is all about, right? Here. This is from businesswire.com, Berkshire Hathaway Company, imagine that. JP Morgan Chase is newest partner in QNext, Quantum Research Collaboration. 
J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the most established financial institutions in the world and the largest bank in the United States, has become a member of the QNEXT Quantum Research Center. QNEXT is a U.S. Department of Energy National Quantum Information Science Research Center led by DOE's Argonne National Laboratory. With the addition of J.P. Morgan Chase, the QNEX collaboration now comprises 27 institutional partners, 14 companies, 10 universities, and three DOE national labs. J.P. Morgan Chase will collaborate with QNEX to advance the use of quantum technologies for the fundamental algorithms and advance the state of quantum information research. Additionally, the firm is interested in engaging with community members to build algorithms specific to financial use cases for future impact and application. J.P. Morgan Chase's research team is thrilled to be joining QNEX to foster new research collaborations, engage with quantum experts across top research institutions in the industry and academia, and continue to uplift the national quantum information science community said Marco Pistoia, Managing Director and Head of Quantum Research at J.P. Morgan Chase. In 2020, J.P. Morgan Chase opened its Applied Research Lab to design and conduct research across multiple frontier technologies, enable novel discoveries and innovations, or sorry, inventions, and inform and develop next generation solutions for clients and businesses. Among many research areas, the program was focused on advancements across quantum computing and quantum communications. The program includes research in the area of quantum key distribution, a method in which two parties share a secret key to decode encrypted quantum information. Quantum-based technologies promise to revolutionize how we manage and exchange information. Quantum computers could transform the finance industry by providing more accurate predictions of financial systems. Quantum networks are expected to be the tamper-proof, expected to be tamper-proof, ensuring safe financial transactions. We could not be more pleased that J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the world's most esteemed financial firms, is now a member of QNEXT. Their growing engagement with quantum research is a testament to the importance of the field for emerging applications, such as financial and informational security, said QNET director David Oshalom, who, also, who is also an Argonne senior scientist. The Liu Family Professor in Molecular Engineering and Physics at the University of Chicago and Director of the Chicago Quantum Exchange. There you go. <clears throat> so you have the government with all their um, agencies. And now you got J.P. Morgan Chase jumping in. Okay. So when I tell you that when they give away medication for free, it's free, right? You have no idea what's in it. You'll own nothing and be happy. Because they're going to put you in a state of suspended stimulation, not simulation, stimulation, because you're going to be constantly on just that adrenaline rush from excitement because you're going to be just mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, every sensibility. You're going to be just living this best life because you're going to be sitting here like this.
And you'll be having the best time of your life. <laughs> and then when it's time to eat, boom, <laughs> food's going to come to your house and you're going to eat it. Uh, when it's time to go to work, you're going to go to work. You're going to do what you're told. <laughs> and you're going to come back, you're going to get in your chair, you're going to kick back, you're going to go, oh, wow, I'm living my best life. <laughs> uh, yeah it's pretty crazy pretty crazy what they're really doing so uh yeah that's so they can incorporate everything you know you're gonna you're gonna watch some like insurance hospital companies they're gonna be jumping into this next they want they want to consolidate everything. This is the big thing in the sky they call Skynet and that movie called Terminator. I can't say too much, so I have to be really, really, really careful about what he say. Well, anyway, go watch those videos that I did first and then watch that one. And you know, now you know it's coming. I don't I don't even know what those are the companies are in the QNEX. Hey, let's go look that up. How about that? That was Q next, right? Yeah, let's go check this out. What? I know I'm sitting here all quiet, huh? <laughs> That's because I'm reading. <laughs> You're like, damn, what's he reading? <laughs> well, this is who their partners are. QNEX partners are embedded in all aspects of the center, participation in East scientific thrust governance and development at the center strategy of the center strategy and training of the next generation of the quantum workforce. This is crucial to speed discovery, development quantum applications and prepare a quantum ready workforce. QNEXT institutions are dedicated to transferring a new quantum technologies to the private sector for commercialization that supports U.S. economic competitiveness in this growing field. Yeah, I would say this is probably some ground for opportunity shit right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about, yeah. All right, national laboratories. Well, we already know who that is. Academia. You know, there's MIT, there's Cornell, or Penn State, which I know they have a Department of Defense Naval Research Laboratory. Absolutely. I've spoken to those people there. You know, there's Chicago, what they just mentioned. And industry. And he, we all know who this gentleman is, right? Mr. Bezos with Amazon. But look at some of these other ones. Boeing, you know, I get all these defense contractors. There's your bank. 
Microsoft, of course, you know, Billy's got his hand in everything or up everything or in everything. Verizon, Zurich Instruments. Well, that was the partners. Well, let's see what their affiliates look like. Current affiliates, Mississippi State University and Super Tech. Or Super Tech. And the collaboration rule wouldn't tell me shit. Hmm. We well, you know these fools are already quantum communicating. Absolutely. So I'll show y'all collaboration, but I can show y'all. There's nothing here, though. So anyway, this is, uh, this is where you're going, kids. So with this quantum financial system, system um, yeah. I should just read this. Crazy. What time is it? Two thirty-eight. All right, kids. Well, taking you down that road. Now you see these dots getting connected. You know, you Amazon, Microsoft, uh, there's other players in there. Verizon. Look for more. Start jumping on IBM, Intel. You know, before you know it, all these big, you know, the ones who are owned by those two companies that own everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below. We'll cover everything. Beer Floyd Show on Telegram, Rumble, BitChute, YouTube. FierceFloydShow.com, FierceFloydShow at Yahoo.com if you want to email me. Appreciate you. Thanks for hanging in here. I hope you learned something. And with that, have a good day.